what do you do? You sit up or do you sit I don't, back? I, I, What's the better I mean, thing? I'm just lounging. Come on, this is, you, do, you do this all the time. What's going on? We are back, and I am sitting with famed pinball artist Greg Freris, who is in charge of some of your favorite art packages on pinball machines. Really? Yes, I hear. Yeah, I like that. We, we've got the energy here in the room tonight at the Stern stage. Um, Greg, more notably, uh, was the artist on all three Elvira games. Uh, Scared Stiff, Party Monsters, and more recently, Elvira's House of Horrors. And um, I think we're going to just kick right into it, and I'm going to read this question I was given, and I need Greg to tell us about what you did for Elvira's 40th anniversary. Oh, for the 40th anniversary yeah. version. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, thank you. 40th anniversary with the cabinet. We went to purple, a purple background, and with cheetah print, Cassandra literally asked us for cheetah print on that cabinet so we gave it to her the artwork on the sides has that sort of like holographic playing card feel to it correct it's a special foil uh, with embossing and matte finish and it's just i think it's stunning and we also uh, change the back glass up just a bit. Can you tell us a little bit about the experience of working on this Elvira, or maybe just like some awesome stories you have of working on all three over the years? It started with the party, right? So she was Coors Beer spokesperson. Again. Way back in the day. We thought, wow, if she's a spokesperson for Coors Beer, why don't we do a party theme game? That's how the Party Monsters came about. And then Dennis and I thought we could do another one, and we went to uh, Williams Engineering, Williams Valley at the time, and said, hey, we want to do another uh, game with Cassandra. And a lot of uh, people at Williams were kind of like, well, you already did that, didn't you? We, we finally convinced people that this was something that would be worth doing. And Scared Stiff was born, Instead of just a party, we wanted to turn it into like, okay, she's hosting uh, these movies, but she's doing it from her bed on the back glass. Was there always a plan in mind to do a third Elvira? I don't know if there was a plan, but I think Dennis put on Pinside several years ago, hey, what do you guys think if Greg and I got the band back together to do a uh, third game? And I think the overall response was pretty good yeah no doubt so, like all the elvira games seem to be pretty big fan favorites and, right. and including this one i would consider like one of my i n not to like throw any shade but i think i like this one more than the other two thank you just nice. the, the way it plays the way it looks yep um the interactivity there with her talking to you i think it's fantastic yeah it, that's what one thing that we're real proud of is this is the first game where we've taken actual footage of her you know, specifically saying the lines that we wanted her to say on camera and then blending that with the video work that Chuck Ernst Group does. And uh, they did a, an amazing job. It's time to party like monsters. So what have been some of the cooler experiences you've had as an artist working in pinball like? going to certain events or you've been invited to certain parties or met certain people that you never thought would uh, have been a thing if you weren't in this industry doing this thing that you do. One of my favorite stories, when we worked on Star Trek Next Generation, we went out to Paramount Studios and we went to the commissary for lunch with the licensing folks. You know, we're working on Star Trek Next Generation and who walks in to have his lunch? Patrick Stewart. And I see him walk right past us. Of course. Steve is busy, engaged in telling the licensing people what needed to be done for this game. And, and I was like, oh, it's Captain Picard. He's right here. And what, he sits down right behind me. Captain Picard 
is eating lunch right behind me. And I'm like, and I'm trying to like, like do something to Steve to go. Get, take a look. But we were told by the license people, when you get into the commissary, you cannot be a fanboy. You just gotta be cool, right? So man, that was, that was tough. <laughs> but when I saw the captain walk by, I was like, oh man, that's cool. So there have been moments that have been really special to be in this industry, and I've always appreciated all those moments. I'm excited for what's coming out. Thank you for everything you do, Ed Stern. No problem. Thank I, you for I, working I, with me. Hopefully I didn't drive you too nuts. It helps when you enjoy what you do. That's what I like to hear. We walk.